What's up everyone, this is Tom. Welcome back to another video. Just a really quick tutorial in this one. We're gonna to learn today how to turn this, a static photograph, right into this, a sort of visual moving dynamic photograph, particularly the background. It's not done with any sort of transform effects or anything of that nature. What we are doing is taking a video and compositing into the background of a photograph so we can get a sort of static foreground, maybe it's a person, a subject, and they get a really sort of dynamic background background perfect for um, Instagram. It is actually really popular over on Instagram and you will see this effect quite often used. So I'm going to show you how to accomplish it today totally within Adobe Photoshop. Without further ado, let's head into the tutorial. All right, so we're here over on the computer and now what we're going to be doing is sort of creating this effect within Photoshop. So you will need two things to make this uh, sort of effect happen. You will obviously need a top line photograph, something you're wanting to um, keep static. So for me, as you can see, uh, here is the uh, a picture on a beach um, and you can see me in the front there with my gimbal out and um, you will need the photo or the camera that you are taking that on to be mounted on a tripod and then you just need a couple of seconds without your subject in frame so if I just play this clip here you can see me on the beach as you can see with focus fixed in the same place and then as you can see I sort of move out of the frame here and let the uh, camera record just a few seconds um, sort of of the uh, video playing in the background so the sort of ambient footage here now this is really important because obviously this is what you're going to be sort of compositing yourself over the top of. Bonus points here for if your camera can record in 4K because you're just going to have more pixels to work with. So now what we're going to do is we are going to pull this into Photoshop. We can just go out to File and New here. Let's just create a canvas. Let's go for like Instagram size 2000 by 2000 pixels. Hit Enter. And you're gonna need this video timeline at the bottom. If this doesn't appear, you can click window and then timeline at the bottom. That will create this uh, down here. So just create, cl uh, click create video timeline. Then we can drag our first file in. So we want to uh, this to be the photo. So what we'll do, we'll hold Alt, scale this up and um, get to a size that we are sort of happy with. Just like that, that's looking pretty good. Then what we can do is open up Finder again and drag in our video clip um, somewhat over the top, scale that up again, and then we will press Enter to drop that into place. And you can see the two sort of clips over the top of each other. I might just scale this one up a bit just to make sure that it's gonna fit as you can see. So then we want to, what we want to do is sort of get these roughly over the same sort of place. So we can drop the opacity on these frames and you should hopefully have a few elements in the background that you can sort of use to help place. Um, so as you can see, it does take a little bit of trial and error, um, sort of different sizing, but if you just drop that opacity, you will be able to sort of get a, um, a pretty consistent uh, frame. There we go, that is looking pretty good there. It doesn't need to be completely spot on, but it will obviously help um, if it is pretty accurate. So we can bump that opacity up again and uh, move the layer down below each other. So this is where we're gonna cut out our subject. So um, it's really your sort of favorite way to cut a subject out. I'm gonna use the uh, quick selection tool here. I'm gonna increase the size of the brush and just go over, or I'm actually make sure that I'm on the correct layer because um, you're gonna be wanting to cut out your subject. So as you can see, I'm just gonna be um, increasing this area and if that happens, we want to decrease. So hold the Alt and sort of go around all of the area that is not uh, your subject. We can zoom in and just keep sort of refining this area, bump up the size a little bit maybe. Keep using the Alt key to sort of refine uh, the area that you are selecting. Might need to decrease or increase the size of the brush as you go and just continually add the different sections of the image that you obviously want within the final um, composition to be static. Let's keep going here. Um, if you've got hair or elements like that, you don't need to worry too much about making it super, super scientific, luckily, because it is the same backdrop 
and it will look uh, pretty realistic regardless of how you uh, sort of how how close to the edge on some of these images that you're actually getting. Okay, when you've got a selection that is sort of uh, pretty much there, as you can see, my whole subject is sort of cut out. I'm gonna go up to select. I'm going to expand this just by a couple of pixels to make sure that we get sort of a nice halo um, around me. I'm gonna go back to select again, and I'm gonna feather this by a few pixels. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy this layer so command C on a Mac and paste it um, into a new layer above. So as you can see, I can sort of drop this out just by hiding that layer uh, below. And this will already work in this effect. Let's drag this layer out, as you can see. Press play on our timeline up here, and you can see that the uh, C in the background of this image is indeed working. Uh, it doesn't look great at the moment, mainly because of the colors of the layer in the background. That's because I, I had a previously edited photograph and then a sort of a raw video in the background. So we can just fix that with a couple of adjustment layers. So we will create a brightness layer up here and really bump the brightness of that video in the background bump the contrast a bit as well and then I'm going to put a bit of color balance on that as well um, the top layer is sort of quite heavy in its cyan in its blue sort of colors actually that's looking a little bit better down the yellows and then we'll just increase the greens ever so slightly as well and you can see that that then is looking really really good in terms of a composition and it really really is that simple that is pretty much the final effect and as you can see I've got that sort of moving waves in the background and all you need to do now is just go over to the uh, this little button down here click render video and render that out there we have it guys very easy to accomplish but quite a powerful effect I hope you will all agree let me know if you learned something down below in the comments. Maybe subscribe if you haven't seen me before and you would like to see lots more photo and video content and I will catch you in the next video.